National Portrait. Oh, look at these trees over here. Beautiful and George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, John Adams. Abigail. Complete. Can you do one with me over here? On the opposite side of. Oh, this is a new Roosevelt over here. Interesting. This must be like. Son of his antitrust. Wow. Interesting. This is new. This isn't usually the portrait they have here, Roosevelt. Looks as him as a rough rider. He hired um, Brooks Brothers to personally make um, suits for him. Here, you want a photo next to him? Are you, are you not feeling it? Okay. Gilded age presidents, right? Is this Taft or Cleveland? Cl Cl <laughs> this is Cleveland. <laughs> Taft was the biggest one, right? Oh, here's Taft. Nice. I think they reorganized things. Here's uh, Woodrow Wilson, one of the most ins interesting presidents with his 16 points after the war, right? You know, Truman was a Freemason. He was a 33rd degree Freemason. Herbert Hoover, right before the Great Depression. He had the best understanding of the economic situation of the entire world. Uh, and it informed FDR about it. Oh, this is nice marble. I don't think you can see it here. Calvin Coolidge, cool college cabin. I like Calvin Coolidge, it's pretty chill. Harding, yeah. Well, look, he's wearing his Masonic uh, regalia right here. He's a big Freemason. That's interesting, right? Can you get me a picture with uh, Kennedy? Do you want a photo? Can you get a photo of me with LBJ? Can you grab a photo of me with LBJ? I think his great society and his civil rights act, um, act and um, the Voting Rights Act of 1964 and welfare and food stamps, they really did a lot to help people. On a personal level. Oh, on a personal level, that's, that's a whole different story. This is actually a really cool portrait of, I like that, it's a nice insight into the Oval Office. Is this a recording device right here? It's almost like they caught him like, you know, Yeah, in the moment, yeah. He's still alive. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Here, Andre, Andre, look, this is the Trump portrait. Not interesting. 
It looks like a photograph. Wait. He created. Okay. Five more minutes, okay. Have you been to this side? Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't know, doesn't, it says inkjet print, so I guess it is a port picture. Okay. I don't know, that's scary. The bushes in Clinton over here, that's interesting. All right. So, uh, oh, there's a Shriver, one of the Kennedys. Oh, 1898 U.S. Imperial Visions. Interesting. Oh, wow, the famous sea fleet. Wanaka Bay. Wow. Dreadnoughts. Isn't that interesting? Remember the Battle of Tsushima? Oh, this is pretty dreadnought, yeah. I love this shit. We can do a podcast. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Battle of Tsushima, right? Look, here's a portrait of Roosevelt, right? Okay, uh, Andre, we need to leave. Wh which way is the, should we just go this way? Okay, thank you very much, appreciate it. Oh, wow. I thought there was another portrait of Roosevelt. Thank you. Oh, John Muir. I usually go on this side, I'm gonna go on the left side over here. Forces of nature. Thomas Lovejoy, yeah. Oh, wow, look at this contrast. Wow, of nature and I guess what could happen in catastrophe to nature. Wow. Oh, very expressionist, abstract painting. Oh, wow. Like California WPA design. Oh, this looks like... These are one of my favorites. That one right there. Where are the stairs? Oh, we'll go this way. Thank you. Appreciate it. Look at this. Look at this. This is a well-known... I think they've changed the layout here pretty. Here's a, the a curved portrait of Ulysses S. Grant with his uh, generals. Man, I could spend hours here. I'll spend days here. Yeah, it happens. There's a lot of traffic. But isn't this a cool curved portrait? This is very nice, very interesting. Over here, you have like American uh, portraits as well. So you have like uh, some of the literary figures. I think this is Daniel Boone over here. Look, there's uh, John Brown. Look, John Brown. We're actually approaching the picture of John Brown. Here, let me take a photo of you next time. Gotcha. Daniel Webster, Henry Clay, the heroes of the Senate. School children for generations would memorize the speeches of Daniel Webster and Henry Clay. Stephen A. Douglas, John C. Calhoun, the defendant and proponent of states' rights. John Quincy Adam, a luminary who spoke nine languages, including ancient Greek and Latin. Luminaries of the Republic. This is the Civil War Room. This is uh, Ulysses S. Grant over here. I don't think I've seen this portrait. And here he, he's holding it, he's looking uh, at a map of Vicksburg. Wow. Here are the Confederate generals, respectfully dedicated to the Confederate generals Longstreet, Johnson Hill, Lee, Beauregard, Jackson, Bragg. <laughs> the Council of War, Abraham Lincoln. 
This is uh, William T. Sherman that we were talking about earlier today. Charles Sumner, who was an alumni of Harvard, and there's a statue of him right outside Harvard Yard. The statue is looking west, and the statue of John Harvard is looking at Charles Sumner. It's interesting. And all Robert E. Lee statues face north. The ones that are left, or whenever they existed. Moral identity. William Lloyd Garrison. Oh! Uh, the first daguerreotype of a president, John Quincy Adams. And he's wearing colored socks there, showing off his personality. <laughs> Razzmatazz. Oh, the famous situation of the captain of the Amistad in 1839. A Portuguese enslavers in 1839. That was a really big deal, the Amistad. Thaddeus Stevens. He devoted his life to uh, eradicating class and racial divisions. Moral luminaries of the Republic. I love how it's half in English, half in Spanish. We're truly a nation that could embrace all languages, all religions, all identities. Look at the top up here, this little uh, floral decor flourish. It almost like would fit in a cathedral. Thank you. From 1600 to 1900, there's so much to see here that we didn't get to see. Well, there's MLK Library over here, and here's the National Portrait Gallery. Chinatown over there, gallery place. <laughs> 